all the information you have. So if it gives you the center, that's pretty cool because that gives us a lot of information, H and K, right? I mean, that's very, very important. Um, so let's go ahead and let's see, we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. All right, so graph the information, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. There's the center. Now, what other information it says? It says that my graph is tangent to the origin. So what that means is it, cro it touches the origin. Remember tangent? It touches the origin at exactly one spot. If you guys remember like tangent, like here's a line. Here's a line that's tangent to the circle. It intersects only at one exact point. So if my circle that has a center here is tangent at 0, 0, Triangle. that means it crosses there at one point. <laughs> right? Now, what is one thing we know about a circle? If I know the distance from the center to the edge, is that equal all the way around? Yes. Yeah. Right, so that distance is what we call the radius. radius. So now, do I know what that r is? Well, if I use negative 4 and this is 3, I know my radius has to be my Pythagorean triple, which is 5. So you would have to know your Pythagorean triple. If you don't know your Pythagorean triple, that's fine. Do the Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus negative 4 squared is, square, is 25 squared. Square root of that is going to equal 5. So therefore, my radius is 5 because my circle looks something like this. It's tangent right at that 0 at that one point. OK? All right.